Hi, I'm Chris Guerreri with Victory Innovations. I'm here today uh, to walk you through some troubleshooting that you may experience with a brand new Victory sprayer. When we manufacture our sprayers, we run every sprayer for five minutes in our factory. We run it with water in it. But before we then package that sprayer up, we have to do a really nice job of blowing out all that water um, before it goes in the package. Once that happens, the product has to ship over to the US, uh, go into our distribution center, where your company could purchase that. We know that the average time that it moves through that process could be anywhere from three to six months. What we're finding is that over time, as the leftover water evaporates, sometimes some of the rubber components or daikin components in our pump will start to adhere or get sticky. Uh, and that will cause your sprayer not to work properly. You'll know this happens when you grab your sprayer, you slap the battery in, you've got your nozzle on, you've filled up your tank, and you go to use the sprayer and nothing's coming out. Yet you can, you, you hear it, you hear it like it's working perfectly. If that happens, the light's on, you hear like the pump's working, no liquid's getting drawn up through the system, I want you to walk through three quick steps for me, which should help you get your sprayer working as quick as possible. So let me walk you through step one. Step one is really just finding out if your nozzle is somehow occluded or blocked. The way to test for that is simply grab your nozzle release tool, put it on your nozzle, rotate it just one quarter turn, it'll pop to pull out your nozzle. And then what I want you to do is simply run your sprayer with the nozzle out. So if when you pull the trigger, you see the liquid come out, that really tells me that there's nothing wrong with your pump. It's actually an occluded nozzle or a blocked nozzle. We've actually already made a video that's available for you on our website to see how to fix an occluded or a blocked nozzle. So please refer to that. If that doesn't solve your problem, then when you pull the trigger, no liquid comes out. I want you to go to step two. In step two, I'm gonna have you remove your tank. Okay, set your tank aside. You're gonna flip over your sprayer. Go ahead and pull off your hose. What we wanna do here is either send air or water through that waterway to release any of the stickiness that might be on your valves in your pump. So again, I can either do it by taking some forced air through a compressor and sending it through where the tube connects, or I could do it by using a syringe or a water bulb to send liquid down through that system. I'm gonna show you using a syringe. So I could simply stick the syringe down into my tank, grab some of the fluid or chemical that you've got in there, and then while I'm pulling the trigger, running the unit, I would literally shoot water down through there. When I do that, that'll actually release any stickiness in your valve, and you'll know that worked if you start to see liquid coming out the front of the sprayer. If you've seen liquid come out the sprayer, I literally want you to then put your hose back on, attach the unit back to your tank, take your nozzle, stick it in the front of the unit, and again, just like you took it off, a quarter turn counterclockwise will seat that nozzle back into your unit. And then I want you to spray. You should hear the unit priming and then starting to spray. So now even after that second step, if your sprayer is still not spraying, there's one more thing I want you to try. Every once in a while, what we're seeing is that your unit is forming a vapor lock where the pump is continuing to pull and in essence it's sucking this tank as hard as it can but it's not allowing liquid to be pulled through. If that's happening, here's what I want you to do is set your unit down on the table, pull the trigger, let the unit run. You'll see that it's not pushing any liquid through. While you're running the unit, release your tank lock and also pull this trigger. Keep the trigger pulled the whole time. You should hear a little pop if a vapor lock was occurring right when you release that tank from the housing. By doing that, you're releasing that pressure, 
keep your trigger pulled, you should start to see liquid come through the nozzle. If that happens, snap it back down and tighten it down and your sprayer should be good to go. So thank you for walking through this video with us. We're glad you've gotten your sprayer working. Uh, and thank you for supporting Victory.